Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Gizmo Built back with another one. Uh, here's the little bike that I've been contemplating on building for a while. I've been wanting to put a very extremely powerful motor, a huge battery, and a very lightweight frame. Uh, I picked this up off of Marketplace. Uh, my goal was to try to find the lightest frame possible, yet rigid enough to handle the power. And, you know, have something small and portable. Um, this battery that I picked up, it's extremely huge. So here I'm cutting some of the frame, trying to get a, some clearance over here. We have a 72 volt, 45 amp power, 100 amp BMS, uh, monster brick. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to power this by MB Power 5000 watt kit. Sabaton one th 100 amp controller. Um, you know, it's a very nice kit. I have a very interesting story about MV Power and this kit. You know, I got scammed per se, but that's a story for another time. Um, don't like their customer service. I do like their products. Um, I had to go through a mission to get this kit. Um, it was one of those for another day but here we have the biggest tires i could possibly find four by one and a, by a quarter sorry um very nice here we went with the front tires wanted to keep the bike uh, very street and you know road worthy um have you guys ever had a flat at 50 miles an hour <laughs> oh man you start to see stars and you start to think about things you guys don't want to think so I don't want to skimp out on your inner tubes. I'm not going to post no links, but you guys could take the names off. Also, stopping. Stopping is very important at these extreme high speeds. Um, I went ahead with a four-piston uh, hydraulic kit. Um, I also wanted a, a little bit more stopping power. So I went ahead and I upgraded the rotors. Um, we have the 203 millimeters versus the 180 that it comes with. Um, so here's the rotors. Also, guys, I'm not going to be posting no parts, uh, no links. So please be sure to pause this, take a screenshot. I am going to be posting some of the hardware you need. Um, this is one of the brackets. So you're able to mount the 203 millimeter rotors on your bikes um this is always a good upgrade depending on what you have now also suspension suspension is very very crucial you know it's a it's a hard tail it doesn't have no f suspension in the back so you kind of want it to go um this one actually it's an air suspension you i have pressured it up to about 145 pounds um it's a very nice front forks um, very smooth over bumps. I have used this in a few previous builds before. Very economical for the price. At high speeds also, you need some stabilization. Um, this is a steering dampener for a motorcycle. Um, I used to ride bikes back in the days. I know what a steering wobble is. And you know, at these speeds, these tires are not going to be balanced or anything like that. It's better to take some precautions, you know what I'm saying? This is actually the um, adapter bracket that lets you hook up to the forks so you can hook up the steering dampener. Here's me test fitting a few things, making sure everything is going. Okay guys, so hear me out. 
the idea was to go with a Ferrari red, bright, amazing, looks like it's going 200 miles an hour while it's setting, sitting still. Um, but unfortunately, you know, the can played some deception on us. Turned out to be this orange color. So mind you, this is 2 o'clock in the morning right here. And um, I ended up grabbing some industrial <clears throat> heavy-duty bed liner uh, spray that I've actually used in the past. And it's been very amazing. Um, it gives it a nice hard texture, keeps the rust out. And it's also a very cool look, you know, who doesn't like bed liner look. So literally 2 o'clock in the morning. I know you guys can't see, but tomorrow you guys will get a better, a better updated video with some more pictures on part two of this video. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video coming up probably tomorrow or Saturday. I'm going to get everything kind of going on a, probably a three-part series. Um, kind of get a little bit more in debt on how I actually build it. But thank you guys for the love, man. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.